doing your dangles again. Just deal with it like a competent and professional driver. <clears throat> Good afternoon, darlings. It's 2.32 and you join me with Captain Mustard as we are heading off to the iconic Milkstone Road in Rochdale in search of Oops. what I can only describe as lunch. You need the little willy warmer that Sophie so kindly gave you to stop you burning your hand on your knob. Yeah, that's true enough. You've got a very hot knob, haven't you, darling? I have, yeah. Should I do the honours? Yeah, you might as well. Sun visors. Funnily enough, so has Winter Davis. Really? Yeah. Uh, Windsor Davis. Windsor Davis. A period gramophone. Properly period. Nice clean dial, a working clock, which is always nice to see. Microphone on the on the floor there. As soon as you just focused on the knob for so long. Yeah. Well, there's Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Yeah, he's probably thinking, I'm not sure, I do know that chap. Young men with tops off, what do you think of that? Um, I think jolly well fair play to them, really. Really? I thought you might have been, no, keep your clothes on, kind of. No, 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 no. no. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I would also rather heavily be in favour of young ladies walking around with their tops off. With their lovely, young, fertile, bouncing boobs jiggling around left, right, centre, up and down, left and right, I do like a jiggling boob. Thank you. You're welcome, Sir James. <laughs> oh, right, perp. Oh, right, there, here we go. So, after lunch, which we shall have in the caravan, I'm we could, we've got to lunch. one or two things to do. Right. But we could either do a live stream. Yes. Um, or get a car, which is we've got a very different idea today. Of what's happening? I think we should be getting a car. You think we shouldn't be? Um. Well, I hadn't. Okay. Well, let me qualify that. Just you know, for the sake of um, putting things on the record, I'm not. I'm not against getting a car. It's just not what I thought was happening today, and I'm not particularly in favour of the idea that we had last year of heading out and buying something that's local. I think we've progressed a little bit beyond that. Yeah, we've I mean, had that conversation before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently we need to have it again. But why don't we? Why, why does it have to stop us from looking? Well, it doesn't the have perfect to stop us car, from... the, Our next perfect car could come from somewhere very local, as often we do, as I often find. Well, it could, but it's not going to because you can't find one. Yeah, but you you won't find one if you don't look. Well, we have looked. Well, have we? Yeah, 
we sat at the picnic table and we looked and we couldn't find anything. Was that today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got things to do. We could, uh, I, well, I need to play with the streetwise and get some, nick some bits off various other cars and well, well, we need to play a bit with Windsor Davis and we need to get some uh, some coverage. We need to start the the proper story of Windsor Davis at the Yard and drum up some interest in him. All right, Windsor um, Davis we need at to, the Yard. And we need to talk about this car because this is my first real experience with this as a vehicle. I know that I've seen it before but I would have ignored it because Mentally, I categorise your cars as cars worth looking at and cars not worth looking at. And this was one that I categorised as not working, not worth looking at, not interested. Whereas now it does work and I own one third of it. Uh, and so I'm going to look at it and I'm going to take an interest in it and I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to get some coverage for my channel. These are all things that we can do. And we can tickle each other and tell each other how much we mean to each other and hold each other tenderly in the shadows when nobody is looking. I mean, surely that's enough to be going on with on a Monday. I enjoyed that. Mm. Man in hat. And see if we can find another car to buy. Oh, fucking hell. If, if we happen to see one, we should... Uh... Yes, if we happen to see one, we should definitely buy it, I agree. Yeah, all right. I really want that white 45. Yes. And I'm willing to go the extra mile. Um, in what way? Well, you know how far it is. You know where it is. Yeah. Well, I would be willing to take a detour that added an extra mile to that journey. <laughs> Why would you need to do that? I had to get a hot sausage roll going to the services. We took an extra mile getting you a sausage roll last time. We did, and it was a massive mistake. Yeah, it was. Next time, I'm going to take... I'm going to take, as well as my food flask with the my staff rock. curry, yeah, I'm going to take a, well, I'm going to take a brunch snack that may or may not be a sausage roll because we can't be stopping again. No, no, we need to just go straight there with only one wee wee stop at the appropriate yeah. services where you can just pull yeah. it straight out. One wee wee stroke cigarette uh, stop. Yeah, one Good. wee wee stroke cigarette poo stop. Yes, yeah. Oh, that's a bit broken. Oh yeah, yeah. We and we should really refine these road trips. I'm fucking. My food flask was a great success. Yes, it was. You, well, you didn't witness. Oh, that's tidy. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah, that I love that one. Ah, okay. Well done. Thank you. I think we'll be very happy together. Yeah, I didn't witness you eat it. No, you didn't witness me. Well, you did a bit. I no, I, 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 none of that gammon touched your lips in my presence. Why? Oh no, no, it was didn't. still raw. I ate after. Well done, you. Yeah. Was it nice? Yeah. Well, yeah. Go on then, give us a, give us an insight. What you're going to do next time? What are you thinking of? What are you considering? Oh, what food wise? Yeah. What uh, about a pie? That would warm nicely in the original would, yeah. placement. It, well, the thing is, it'd be easier to choose something that doesn't start off raw yes. so you can just simply cook it I don't particularly want to listen to that mate I'd like to listen to his engine there V8 by turbo what do you reckon he's going to take off I bet he does as well but yeah I'm I love the food flash idea and I'm going to take it exactly the same again Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to refine it a little bit so it's even more perfect. Tram, everybody look at the tram, please. Everybody look at the tram. I'm a happy policeman. I love trams and wanking. Oh, yes. I say it quite a lot. Do you think um, the average policeman would masturbate more or less frequently than the average civilian? A policeman woman, yeah. Policeman badger? Uh, no, she wasn't uh, a badger. Well, I mean, she had a badger. Did she? Yeah. Is that what they call it now? A furry badger. <laughs> <laughs> Which, do, do ladies have beavers or badgers? That was a long time ago now.
you know it, it's quite uh, it's quite good. It feels much quicker than the automatic version. Does it? Yeah. That 2.3 has just got an effortless wave of torque. It's fantastic. Yes. Absolutely Hello. fantastic. Oh, well done. You got a response. Yeah. Unusual for you as a woman. Yeah. And Un unusual for me with a woman. Quite a brave thing to do on the Mugstone Road. It is actually, yeah, because they could just follow you down the road and say, oh, um, yeah, I'm glad you said hello, actually, because I need some money yes. for a shower. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. That's an interesting place to park, isn't it? Oh, I see. He's just waiting for the space that isn't really a space to become available. Yeah. It's like half a space at best, isn't it? Half oh, a space, yeah. it in there, look. No, it's not going there. Right. That looks like a shopping one. As the bishop said to the actress. What, one way? Uh, no, that's not going to go in there. You could pop it here, look. I could, and I will do. Or you could go down there to a space all on your own. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. And it's a little bit further to work, walk, and that's good exercise for us both. Certainly for you. <sighs> I'm a happy badger. I like wanking. Somebody else shared my post. There's a lot of post sharing going on. Right, I'd better get out and break wind. Are all rovers male? Gosh, it's warm. What else was I not allowed to leave out on display? Ah, oh, yeah, those. It's just common sense, mate. And the reason it's cheap. Ah. ah! Yeah. God, feel the weight of that? Yep, I know. Guess what that came off? Uh, that came off. Nigel. That came off at 25. Yeah, it was Nigel's. Was it? Mm. Why is it in this glove box? Because ah. I swapped the 600 for this long before I sold it to Daniel. And you might be thinking, well, what, why would he want that instead? You put that gear knob on? No, I didn't, no. Right. No, I put this one on it. Oh, right, okay. I put it back on it instead of that one. Yeah, it doesn't really work, though. Right. Yeah, I mean, yes. It's... That's really interesting. That's a lovely knob, though. That's actually a cracking knob. You know what this would be nice on? Um, My ZT190, if it fitted, which it probably does. Oh, I see that window doing. Oh, it's better. Gosh, it was warm in that Emporium. Yeah, it's warm in this Emporium as well. Chicken for din din, chicken for din, chicken for dinner din 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 din. I'm looking forward to it very much. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward even more to afterwards going and acquiring another car, which we will be doing for definite today. I'm, I'm going to put money on it. It's not me on. It's somebody else. Either you're just deliberately being annoying, or you've actually agreed to go and buy a car, and I'm genuinely not sure which it is. Oh, hello. Unusual Ooh. looking thing. What nature of thing was that? Um, I'm not even going to get into that. Okay. Uh oh, speed humps. It's rather busy. It is rather. Haji Tours, your journey to the Blessed Land. Where do you think the Blessed Land is? Well, we just come from there, haven't we? <laughs> well, so that shop organises tours from here to the Woodstone Road? Yeah. Right. Do you Man, know what's happened? Quite a nice shape. Um, Sorry, do tell. Well, we, I always liked the 600, but you seem to become a fan of them as well. Yeah, yeah. It's like we've both become 600 men. 
Yeah, yeah. Except that, um, you know, you're not going to be one of those ones, right? Well, I, I am actively considering swapping one of the fleet for a 600. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I, I would. It would have to be silver. Yeah, it would have to be silver. And it's unfortunate because the 600 doesn't suit silver, in all honesty. No. But, um, it yeah. Does, it does suit green, and it oh. suits white. It does suit it white. It really suits white. It really does suit white. And most people would say it suits Nightfire Red, but it's never been one of my favourite colours. But yeah, I am thinking about um, a 620 Ti. In silver. Uh, yeah, you might struggle with that. Might I? Yeah, because it's not really a Ti colour, is it? What, silver? Mm. I don't know. No, but what is it? Every TI I've it's, ever it's seen. white. <laughs> I was just thinking that every TI I've ever seen has been silver. Really? Yeah. I mean, I have to say that having, you know, <coughs> driven uh, Windsor Davis a few times, it is just a better car than any of mine. And a more enjoyable car to, to drive. I would love to own one. And let me assure you that if Windsor Davis was silver, then he would be going nowhere. And you know, I feel I feel it suits that colour so much more though. Oh, that's a beautiful colour, that champagne gold mechanic, um, metallic. Stunning colour. It's a, oh. it's a classic colour. The car just... The and car... I would like to actually correct that drum colour. Fair enough. I reckon it's worthwhile doing it then. I think... I think that car's got genuine choke car potential. Oh, there's a nice if, if we did, um, I'm going to go too far down a conversation here, so if we could be just more than just silly men and we could really do some proper good um, jobs here, making cars like that really desirable, yeah. I know it's what we're talking about, but, yeah. but more than the, 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 silly, the silliness implies. Mm. That would be a good candidate for such a thing. Probably the best candidate we've had. Well, mind you, Fanny was pretty special. Fanny? Yeah. Um, but not, no, in, I don't, I don't not think, in the same way. No. I mean the, not in the same classic way. It's such a great car to drive. The 600's nothing like a sports car. No, it's not. But it's a, to me, it's what a Rover actually is. It's a proper, nice car that doesn't shout. That's why it, that's why it doesn't suit with a big exhaust on it. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, this one's got quite a bit of tidying up to be done. But uh, my least favourite bit of it so far is that noise from the back. It's very irksome, very irksome. I could get tired of that. But, well, in fact, I already am tired of it. But, oddly enough, when you put your foot down like this, watch. Sound as bad? It's a lot of noise and no real forward movement. I think it's get up and goes not too bad for what it is. I drove a Jaguar right face yesterday. So basically what we're saying is that you don't get the same ultimate performance out of Windsor Davis as you do out of a really good fanning, but it's an enjoyable experience nonetheless. Yeah. So you can get pleasure. What? It's hot, isn't it? You always get tire squeals in the box. Especially with uh, heavy cars with skinny tires. My gift off the streetwise is the root bars. 
Andy opens the gate to let me in. Are working? Uh, no, I didn't know they were. Sorry? I didn't know they were working. Yeah, they're working, yeah. Oh, that's a disappointment. What are you doing? Are we going straight for lunch or are you having yourself a fag first? Oh, I don't have a fag. Now you've mentioned it. Uh, well, in that case, I shall go and uh, make tea. Yeah. Naturally. I dream of buttocks with a fringe on top. Boats would like to express his heartfelt appreciation to his amazing channel members. Alan Searl, Rosette Chicks, Typhoon Cat, Dinosaur Dad, Car Crazy Norwegian, Tricia Alderman, Neil Gibbon, Classic Wheels Wall, John Moruzzi, Chef Daniel, Kevin Craven, Mark Pea, Chaz Brown, Frank G05, Richard Mahon, Black Lines, General Cheeseburger, Joe Cox, Ashley Stewart, Skik, Sons Vintage, Smashing Piston, Brava Tina, 
Alimac Mechanical, Julie, Project Nigel, The Guardian of Forever, Marc Persade, Carwil JC, Sainte QLG, Arma, Robert Jog, Zad Guy from CT Alpha 5, Pingu Concorde, Everything Car, The Greenwood and Dukton Classics. Your support means the world to him, your all fucking legends and they thanks you from the heart of his bottom. Thanks also to everyone who supported the channel in other ways with super chat, super thanks or just by watching the videos and leaving your knob alone when the advert come on. See you on the next video. Oh, and I'm not wearing any panties.